there's no cancer. The chemotherapy did its job. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. Wow, man. This episode, wow. I'm going to tell you what, man. We've been going through it as Chicago Fire fans. We have been pro Sydney over here, bro. We have been like, we've been acting like, like we know Sydney in real life, and we've been acting like this is real life. Bro, we wanted Cindy to survive her cancer so much, man. And we we see how it's broken Herman down in the family and broken her down, you know. And it's just been very hard to watch. And it's affected the firehouse a little bit. So, last week we got some good news, but we weren't out of the woods yet. But we got some good news that her chemotherapy uh, treatments were basically over with. So that was a good sign that maybe she's going to become cancer free um, at some point. But we know she wasn't out of woods yet. That's why she didn't really want to celebrate and had that big party at Molly's or whatever, because she wanted to make sure she was definitely cancer free. She didn't want to have this false hope that if she finds out that the cancer still there and the chemotherapy didn't work, that phew, we don't, they're, they're running out of alternatives of how to save her life. And um, so basically when they were going through that, right, um, <coughs> she came to the restaurant in a wig last week. And, you know, she got makeup on, Tootie, uh, Trudy, I mean, uh, helped her out and stuff like that. And it was really good to see. Now, in this episode, she was stressing because her appointment kept getting pushed back, right? I think it was like a Monday, and then the appointment got pushed all the way back to Friday. So Cindy was pissed about it and breaking down from it. And Herman had a really tough week because he's had to deal with this, and they had to wait a little longer to find out about her fate with this chemo, if it worked or not. So finally, it's Friday. Her appointment gets pushed back again. But we find out from the doctor who was overseeing her case that... There was good reason for that. The doctor wanted to push it back because, well, he didn't know it was scheduled, you know, again, because he was dealing with like an emergency case, I think, early in the week. So he's been busy. But she wasn't waiting. Like she stumbled, she stumped up there. Uh, Herman even said, uh, are they going to get security? Because the way she came in there kind of demanded things. Because he did leave, like he was about to go get security or something like that. He came back in and explained that. He likes to end his weeks giving good news. You know, it, it allows him to go home with a better mind. Say, this is why I can never become a doctor because I see what doctors go through with patients and stuff like that. It's never good. You know, like they got to get bad news like this. And and I, that's why I can't do it, man. Even though they save lives at the same time, they have to deal with this every single day, man. So, but... We finally found out her fate. And her fate is that she's cancer-free. The the, there was no traces of the cancer left in her. And she's been free. And I was wondering, like, you know, I think the chemo worked because Cindy was, the way Cindy was starting to move around. Remember, like, two weeks ago, she was, oh, no, not two weeks ago. The, uh, the episode before last week, so, like, early in the month, before they took that little two-week break, she was, like, super ill. Like, she couldn't get out of bed because at that point she was in chemotherapy and she was just looking bad, right? Um, and in this episode, she was moving around pretty good. I think she was doing some household chores. Uh, it, it just looked like she was already cancer-free at that point. So I was like, the way she moving around and stuff like that, I don't think she got it no more. So I said, this might be some good news. And we got it. Sydney is cancer free and boy oh boy I was so happy. I was so happy because you never know the TV drama man not the things aren't meant to have a fairy tale all the time. It, this could have been real bad. Wow, she's cancer free. Oh my god, I'm so happy for the family. I'm so happy for Herman. We've been going through this for a, a couple of months now. I think since like December, right? December or January. Man, we've been going through this, man, with Cindy, man. So, 
it's good to see that she's. I, I think the Chicago Fire fans need then Casey coming back next week after the way the season started with uh, Hawkins dying and stuff like that. I think we needed it, man. And, and Kelly leaving just recently. So Chicago Fire fans needed this. They needed this, man. So go ahead and leave me your thoughts, man. I'm happy for Cindy and Herman and the family. Next week, Casey comes back. So, you know, she's got a little crush on Casey. So they're probably going to do something with this whole thing and actually give her that party. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, like I said, drop down in the comments below. Like the video, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like. We're going to talk about Casey next.